Today is a video I really should not have to make. However, it appears once again I've been lied to by a manufacturer and the information that I've put out on this channel is not correct. Now, a few days ago, I made my review of the K1C and shared with you my thoughts on that printer. As part of that review, I stated that the printer has a new all-metal extruder. Now, that was based on the information that Creality provided me as well as the information that they are showing on their website today. However, another creator has torn his review sample down and it seems his doesn't have a metal extruder. What we're going to do today is find out what my one has and then I'm going to share with you my thoughts. Now, before we take a look at my extruder, what we're going to do is take a look at what Creality are saying. If we hop over to their website, you will see that it shows the specifications and the features of the K1C. If we scroll down on the website, you'll see it says it has reliable extrusion all metal extruder kit. If we then click on that, it takes us down to this all metal extruder, enhanced reliability with some bump around this. And what is clear from the images is that they are showing metal gears in this extruder. We have metal gears showing here, metal there and metal there. The wording and the overall image is stating that this has an all metal extruder. If we actually click onto the structure of the extruder here, it takes us into the back end where again, it says all metal extruder. It is showing here the spring, the metal mechanism here, the ball plunger, and what appears to be a metal gear here and here. And whilst it is not showing the other gears, we can clearly see here that that is really all metal, it says all metal, that should be all metal. Now the channel Vector3D, rather than doing a review, he sort of just tore his printer down. And in that process, he found something rather interesting. And that is that his extruder doesn't have metal gears. You can see the gear on the side here isn't metal. And actually when he gets into it, you'll see the gears inside are not metal. They are still plastic. Now, in his teardown, he also noted that his printer felt quite used. Whilst it still had all the proper packaging on, there were certainly signs of heavy use on his model. Now, I can say mine didn't show the signs of heavy use that his does, but what I want to do is find out what the situation is with my extruder. Okay, so this is the K1C, just to confirm, and what we're going to do is get the motor and extruder gear off. Now, there is already a concern here, because this is the first time I've looked at this, because I took Creality's word. The is one of the gears to do with the lock mechanism and the drive, and that is very clearly plastic. If I take my trusty LTT screwdriver magnet, and if I just go here to the rails, you can see it sticks, and go to the motor and it sticks. However, nothing on that gear. It looks like plastic, it's not magnetic, so at this moment in time, I'm going to believe that's plastic, however, we need to get this off, so that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I've got the uh, extruder part off. I've left the stepper motor on the printer because it's easier than me unwiring it. Now, it does come with this shim that goes on the motor there. You'll see that elsewhere. I'll put a bit of B-roll up on that. And then what we're going to do is very carefully take this apart. But what is completely clear already is that this is not metal. You can see in there that that cog is not metal. The other cogs down there are not metal either but what we will do is continue to take this apart slowly to show you that so what we're going to need to do is separate off this front and back section we're going to need to take the screws out there we go i'm going to give this a bit of a pull for the top to come off there we are and then we have the extruder in there we have our metal we have a metal gear there, which is pressed into plastic. There is then plastic gearing there. Let's just grab my trusty LTT screwdriver magnet. We can go to there. No. No, not metal. Not metal. Not metal. If we then flip over to this side, oh, we've lost the bearing on that. Just need to make sure if you do take yours apart, you don't lose the bearing. 
So we'd need to undo those screws to get that off. And I don't want to tear this down completely. I don't want to do anything to damage this a minute because I am still using this printer for testing and things like this. Um, I just wanted to try and see in this side if there was... Let's just snap that back. There's a metal pin there. Yeah, no, I don't really think there's anything else we really need to look at in this side. I was wondering if there was a gear this side. When I looked at one of the images online, it looked like there was a gear on this side as well, but it isn't. It's this plastic one that's there. But yeah, so that does not look like what the website and the Creality documentation tell me it is or should be. Now, I am frankly fucking furious with Creality at this moment in time. However, I need to calm my temper and think about this logically. There are one of a few scenarios at play here. Number one, they're lying to you, me and everyone else. That is pretty unlikely, but possible. Number two, the website is incorrect and it should never have been said that it has an all metal extruder. However, it says it come on, you should be picking that stuff up. Or three, they have sent out review samples that are not the full K1C and the product you're going to get is different to the product that I'm going to get. However, that means everything that I've said in my review is complete nonsense because it is not the same unit. Now, I have reached out to Creality for an answer on this, but I am bloody annoyed to say the least. And this shit cannot continue from manufacturers. We cannot keep having them either sending us products that are different to what you're going to get or basically lying or misrepresenting what they're getting in their marketing materials. I am going to be crystal clear. I will never work with Creality again if they have got this wrong, if they have lied. If they have sent me a sample that is different to what you're going to get, if they want that video to stay up, they are going to need to send me the extruder that you are going to get with your product. As a reviewer, I cannot tear down every product that I receive to ensure every single detail is correct. When you buy a car, you don't take the engine out to measure the displacement of the cylinders. There is a certain level of specification on anything that you have to rely on from the manufacturer. My job as a reviewer is to provide you my open and honest feedback on what I find in using that product and I cannot spend hours and weeks testing every single element to ensure that the manufacturer is not full of shit. So, here and now, the product that I have reviewed a few days ago isn't the product that they said it is. I am going to right now put a notice up on that video linking to this and then I will make a decision on what I'm going to do with a third follow-up video once I understand what the situation is. As always, I will always, always, as always, I will be honest with you on this channel. If something changes after I make a review, I will always tell you about it and that's why you are watching this video here today. I'm sorry if you've heard a creaky cheer in this one. My normal cheer is actually over there and I forgot to move it before starting the video. If you like what you've seen, please do consider subscribing. There are links to Patreon and everything in the description. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.